applying the properties of exponents to generate equivalent expressions. Here's the easiest rule to remember. Any variable or number raised to the zero power is equal to one. In this lesson, power and exponent are being used interchangeably. Notice that x to the zero power is equal to one. Y to the zero power, equal to one. B to the zero power is equal to one. 25 raised to the zero power is equal to one. M to the zero power, equal to one. C to the zero power, equal to one. And 106 to the zero power is equal to one. Let's not confuse that with degrees. The exponent is a zero. Rule two. Any variable or number raised to a negative power is equivalent to one over the number or variable to the positive power. The variable x to the negative a power is equal to one over x to the positive a power. Three to the negative two power is equal to one over three to the second, or one over nine. And likewise, if you have one over a variable to the fourth power, in this case m, it's equal to m to the negative fourth power. Rule three, when a variable or number that we're gonna call the base raised to a power is multiplied by the same variable or number raised to a power, use the same base and add the exponents. x to the a times x to the b, notice it's the same base, x is equal to x to the a plus b. Now look over on the right, x to the a times y to the b, is that equal to xy raised to a plus b? No, look back at the rule, the base has to be the same x and y are not the same base. Four to the third power times four to the fourth power is equal to four to the three plus four power, or four to the seventh power. Four to the third power times three to the fourth power equals 12 to the three plus four. No, the bases have to be the same. The four and the three are not the same base m to the a times n to the b equals m to the a plus b? No, what happened to the n? The bases are not the same. It has to be the same base. The exponents can be different. Rule four. When a variable or number that we're calling the base raised to a power is divided by the same variable or number raised to a power, use the same base and subtract the exponents. X to the a power divided by X to the b power, we might say that X to the a over X to the b, either one is correct, equals X to the a minus b power. For example, four to the fourth over four to the first equals four to the four minus one. In most cases, you won't see a number or a variable raised to the first power. You'll know when you just see it all by itself, it is automatically assumed that it is to the first power. But if you were to see this as four to the fourth divided by four, you would know that it is equal to four to the third power. Rule five, when a number or variable that we're calling the base raised to a power is raised to a power, use the base and multiply the exponents. So it's a power raised to a power, exponent raised to an exponent. 
So in the example, we see the variable a with the exponent a, x, I'm sorry, x raised to the exponent a, and that whole quantity is raised to the exponent b. That is equal to the variable x raised to the power of a times b. So you'll see in the next example, x to the third raised to the second power is x to the three times two power, which is x to the sixth power. m to the second power raised to the fourth power is equal to m raised to the two times four power, that is m to the eighth power. Five to the third power raised to the second power is equal to 5 raised to the 3 times 2 power, which is equal to 5 to the 6. 5 raised to the 6th power. Rule 6, often referred to as the power of the product, is when the base is different, but the exponent is the same. When that occurs, multiply the bases and raise the product to the power. x to the a times y to the a, because these are next to each other, is equal to xy to the a power. So an example is 4 to the second power times 3 to the second power is equal to 4 times 3, which is 12, to the second power. So in this case, the bases are different, but the exponents are the same. You may have to go through this video more than once. And you might have to take a few notes. Write yourself a table of these rules for exponents. Enjoy the activity.